Hi, in this screencast we're going to learn how to view and edit your own ROM files using an application called ROM Raider. This uh, application works very well with the OpenFlash tablet because it accepts unencrypted ROM files and that's exactly what the OpenFlash tablet provides you. Um, unlike other tuning options, we don't encrypt our ROM, we don't purposely um, obscure it so that so the customer can't see what's going on. Um, we are selling you hardware and as far as we're concerned Everything beyond that is is open for you guys to look at and edit and make changes, and uh, and that's it. So you're going to have to download a few things from our website, OpenFlashTablet.com. You'll need to download um, ROM Raider, which is right here, and then you'll need to do download the MX5 XML folder, which is a folder consisting of several. Um, XML files, which are definition files. Definition files, there's one definition file for each ROM type or Cal ID. And you'll need also your ROM, either your stock ROM that you read on earlier with your OpenFlash tablet uh, and or your Tune ROM here. So let's open up ROM Raider. And first thing we'll do is load up the XML for your ROM. So if you remember, the ROM file we used was, where is it? It was uh, 5LFN5EN000. And you'll notice that that exists in our map folder, which is great, in our XML folder. So back here, EC definitions, definition manager. You'll notice we already, you'll notice we already have many XML files here. This is for the Subaru and uh, BRZ and, and Scion FRS. So we're just going to add an MX5 file to that. And it's on our desktop. Here it is. Make sure you hit apply and then save. Now we can open up our ROM. You'll notice we don't see it on our desktop because we're only viewing .bin and .hex files and we didn't save our um, files as such. So view all files and there we go. Let's open up our stock file first. And there we go. You'll see we have many tables viewable uh, all in different folders separated by what kind of data they are. Um, but they'll only really folder we need to care about is our defined folder. These are tables which are useful for tuning. Um, we can also open up the tune map as well. There we go. One useful feature of ROM Raider is the ability to compare two files and see what tables are changed. So we're going to compare image, have the two files loaded, and compare. And this tells, shows you all the, the table names. And the ones that are in red are the names, are the tables which have different values. The greens are the same. So just Topically looking for red tables, you see BBT intake was different, engine load limits were different, um, open loop fuel different, both high and low debt, fuel compensation, ignition timing, uh, rev limits, not correction, max RPM, and uh, probably a few more. Yeah. So idle speed. And I think that's about it. So let's look at VVT intake as an example. You'll see here is stock, this table, and here is tuned. Looking at the differences, you can see that we added a bunch of advance intake cam advance under load throughout much of the RPM band. And actually, um, we changed the breakpoints here a little bit. It goes, we added a breakpoint at 7,000 RPM. 
Um, we change it rather from 6400. We change the 6000 to a 6500. That allows us to give a little more resolution at high, high RPM where the engine now operates. And you can see that at uh, 7000 RPM, we operate at zero degrees of advance versus five degrees of advance under full load from 6500 RPM and up. That helps top end power, reduces top end roll off uh, up top while adding advance down low helps torque. There's a lot of other changes we made and you can kind of go through them one by one and see what they are. But we're also going to show how to edit tables. Um, really simple. <laughs> to make a change on, for, on this table, for example, if we want to change that 5, or sorry, that 10 to a 15, hit 15, enter. If you want to re double it, you can, also, you can also select it and go to here and put 2 and multiply. Um, pretty simple. You can do big chunks of data too. Put 5, enter. Um, when you close it, um, it doesn't ask you if you want to save the changes because the changes are not saved until you go here, select and go file and save as and save it as the same name or another name. So uh, that's an important bit to remember. There's a few tables um, in this ROM that you'll find useful for tuning if you decide to do any custom tuning. Um, one is the math sensor scaling, A and B. Um, that, they're useful if you change intakes which have different math housing diameters. Other useful tables are open loop fuel table, both the high debt and the low debt. Um, high debt, hopefully you'll be messing around with because your car's not going to be knocking. That leaves the low debt. Um, this gives you an idea of what you can, if we want to make things run richer, we can simply go to the highest throttle point, 100% throttle, and decrease those numbers to make them run richer. Other tables that are useful are the ignition timing tables. Uh, the most useful ones is going to be the um, uh, ignition timing high load open loop low debt tables since that's where you'll be operating under load. A couple things you can see here is um, it's, diff it's quite a bit different from stock and we'll pull the stock one up again. Uh, ignition timing uh, high load open loop low debt. Ignition timing high load open loop low debt. Here we go. Here's stock. You'll see we added a, a two to three degrees more advance throughout the entire mid-range under load. Um, we also added um, or subtracted timing, took away timing up top. And if you look, we changed the RPM breakpoints um, from 6,500 and 7,000 to 7,450 and 7,500. Uh, what this does is it, in, it basically, basically implements a soft ignition cut so your rev limiter doesn't um, bang around. It kind of starts to slow down very softly and um, at high RPM. It's good for driving. Uh, you'll probably enjoy it more than the factory rev limiter, and it's probably better on your engine as well. So that pretty much covers it. Um, we're kind of going to be talking more about tuning and, um, and how to do it as time goes on, but this should be a good primer on how to use the software and to see what changes we've made to your tune.